Uh, but I just want to take a minute and reflect, I guess, on the semester. It's been so good. My life is like, right now, future me is just everything that you've building up, everything that you've been building up to for years now is finally all just, <laughs> it's just come together. Like all your hard work has paid off with the business. Chris has your girlfriend, um, more things. Cristiano Ronaldo just also, I, could, I got an update earlier, but I just kind of wanted to remind me he just won his fourth Ballon d'Or, which is cool. You're a pretty big fan of him. But yeah, I don't know. The semester's been so good. Everything's been paying off. Um, it's kind of scary going into the future just because I'm not sure how much money I'll have next year and like what my life will be like for the next few years. But I'm very determined and very confident that will be very successful with our company, Contista, and that I'll be able to have a very good life um, moving in on to the future. Just feeling very, always feeling very grateful for everything that I have, especially now being in college, you really get more of a good sense of where everyone's coming from and how much more you were given from the start um, to work from and how that's impacted you and allowed you to be as good as you are because you've pretty much found what I found in the present is that coming from a good background coming from a good family really really puts you very far ahead and not that it's impossible to come from nothing because um, many people have but having the leg up is just pretty wildly um, good and then if you turn those materials that you're given into like real things like we have with Contista between Esther Purcell and I who all come from a similar background of good family and friends then um, you're just you're bound to have success and there were never really any times that I thought about giving up whatsoever but there were definitely times where I felt maybe I wasn't ready for something yet but at the same time that I had done as much as I could and I had no regrets and it's funny because when I started recording videos it was just something for fun and what I've learned is that do what your behaviors are telling you. So in my particular case, I guess with video, I realized that I was getting pretty good at it and I had the business skills and I was ready to kind of like start my own company. Um, but I knew that I also needed friends to help me, that I couldn't do it alone and that I didn't want to do it alone because it would have been pretty, I don't, the difficulty wouldn't have really bothered me, I think. Um, in long term, you know, short term, you always have like hardships where you're like, I wish someone else was sharing this moment with me, but I just really wanted people to share the experience. What I really just wanted was people, one or two people to share in the experience with. And I realized that the critical mass of doing the nature of a small production company was three people where you still have enough people to complete all the projects, and um, but not too many people to where you split the money so thinly that it's not sustainable as a real-time professional job so all in all so you're happy with everything i'm sorry i'm not sorry i am very sad that max will not be rooming with me next semester because he's going to be going to utla so it'll just be me in that room by myself but it was nice to live with them for just a few months that we had and i hope that at some time in the future we'll live together again because it's been like a very enjoyable experience and Ishan's going to Apple so I'm sad about that too because I can't hang out with him as much even though he'll be um, here back in Austin all of next year. Stop here, loving life, moving forward, done with the semester for school, gonna have a really good break going to Thailand so lots to look forward to.